God gave us the words building community as kind of our motto. And it's just cool to see. To community to us means that we not only know your neighbors, but you do life with your neighbors. It means more than just building pretty homes and coming inside and never leaving them, but it's also like bringing people inside your home. It's also just opening your home to others. It's being outside. A lot of people see the signs or the logo and they think, oh, it's Broken Arrow Restored, or it's BA for Broken Arrow, and, and it's not. It's for Born Again Restored. Um, and we always say that what we do for houses is what God has done for us. So 20 years ago today, I never would have imagined that Jamie and I would be where we're at. Um, and honestly, I think it all comes back to just obedience with doing what God has called you to do. And there's times that we've not done what he's called us to do, and it hasn't worked out very well. Um, and that's just us being stubborn. Um, and so we dabbled in houses on the weekends and evenings. We'd, you know, have a project or two going on and we'd, you know, flip a couple houses every year and we'd have our corporate jobs and then we'd have our weekend jobs and we joked that houses were just a really expensive hobby that we had and we didn't do anything else. We just renovated houses when we were bored. And a number of years back, uh, we were approached by uh, a production company out in North Carolina to film a show for HGTV, but we filmed for two and a half months renovated a house downtown Broken Arrow. And in that process, everyone said, you're gonna go to season, you're gonna go to season. And, and I remember actually one Sunday morning, Alex joking about, hey, when Nick and Jamie have their show, we'll, you know, blah, blah, blah. Of course, the show ended up not airing. And there's, there's a number of reasons, you know, why it never came to fruition. And so the TV show was what we needed in order to feel comfortable enough, feel confident enough to step away from our very comfortable corporate lives to do what he had called us to do. So when All In was um, first discussed, we had just come out of uh, a really painful season um, just with, with the community that we were in um, and, and are still in, um, friendships that were severed, um, just, just coming out of a lot of hurt moving into a new season where we were looking to build a house, uh, a new house for our family. Um, and we were in the planning stages and when All In was, was discussed uh, and, and kind of brought to, to fruition, we were really torn with, are we, are we building this new house for us? Are we you know, selfishly using these resources that, that God has given us for our own benefit? Should we scratch the house, be content with what we have? and that would allow us to be more generous. It was a huge amount that just kind of seemed impossible. You, you know, I think when you put a number on paper and it's that big, you doubt, like, okay, God, I'm putting this on paper, but I'm really doubting that it's even possible. Um, we really felt like maybe we can't, maybe we put a pause on building this house because we feel like our number was so large that it wasn't even possible to do all of it. And we prayed about that and God just said, no, move forward. And so I even secretly in my little journal here, um, wrote down my prayer in um, December, just, it was actually January when we talked about, like we made this large commitment and do we move forward? And we felt like God said yes. Um, but I even snuck in like our last house that we were in, we didn't have a mortgage and so, Selfishly, I was like, okay, God, here's my little plug. Like, if we build this house, I don't want a mortgage. What God was calling us to do was more than we ever thought was possible. You know, once again, it, it just, it, it, it opened our eyes to say, man, like what we thought we were being generous with, man, God is so much more. God has done some miraculous things throughout this year that to this date today, we actually met our two-year goal today. A year into the campaign and we've already met our two-year goal with the amount that we've given. And we also are mortgage-free on the house that we, that we didn't know that we would be able to build. So it's just been, it's really been overwhelming to see what God has done in the last 12 months. So our first number at one point seemed impossible, but today I'm here saying that God made that so possible. 
And it's just crazy to think of, there's times when, you know, we talk about your cup being full and then you push it down and pack it down and God overflows it. And like we are seeing, we're in that season of overflow where he has just blessed us immensely. And, and I mean, it tells us, you know, to tithe and test him in this one way. And so we're just honored to say like, we put this commitment on paper. It seems so hard. He showed up, We've, he's pushed it down and just the overflow has been amazing. I would just encourage people to just draw near and to just listen to what he's calling you to be a part of. Um, I know we've experienced it and, and just hope that other people can experience it as well. It's kind of like going to the ice cream shop and you sample stuff and you're like, ooh, that's good. But nobody just walks out, like you end up with a bowl or a cone of whatever you, you liked. Um, and I think that that's, that's where we're at. Like we've tasted and we've, we've seen and we've, we've sampled. And now it's, I mean, it's cliche, but now like we, it's all in. Like we, we want what we've experienced. Um, so uh, to me, I, like I don't, I don't know why somebody would not want to experience that. I don't know why somebody would not want to just find that freedom in, in following what God has called upon their life. Thank you.